Because big dudes can't go from <laughs> it's crazy. You go from forty dollars to four thousand right. dollars. Easy. Yo, know, the best two rides that just popped out of nowhere, yo. In, in this month, two month and a half, been this dog right here rolled out that Crown Royal riding that ride piece. They all three pretty good. And it, and it changed, it changed my mind as far as the sour being my number one. Like the sour mash is no bullshit team. Like Cleveland is a threat. I wasn't a fan of you, brother, but you showed me a lot. Just like with the sour mash. It showed me a lot just now. Chris Paul is the sour man. I one day just thrown into the atmosphere having a whiskey chasing spot. There's good people in peace, love, and bourbon. It's another episode of the Whiskey Chasers Podcast. Cue the intro. Uh, we back. Cue the intro. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the guys, man. This your man, Charlie Bourbon. It's your boy, Just Doe here. And Enforcer, what up? Invisible bully in the cut. Here you go. Ready, man. Shout out to the guys that couldn't make it a day. No social media. Kyle, Bougie Yo. Shout out to Backpack on the camera. Welcome back. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. You know, he had to uh, do a couple model shoots. <laughs> you know that dude. He, <laughs> He's Important not only guy. a cameraman, he's a model. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, hey, man. Welcome back. We back. Back in the building. Um, definitely want to say thank you to everybody that tune in on the YouTube channel. Leave your comments. Whether they're good or bad, doesn't matter. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. You can follow us on Instagram at whiskey underscore chasers. You can also catch the audio versions of the podcast on all your streaming platforms. So, with that being said... How you guys feeling, man? We Can't back. complain. Feeling good, feeling great. It's always a good time to drink. Yes, sir. Feeling yes, sir. good. The weather been good. Life is good. Absolutely. Whiskey is here. Whiskey is here. Nice, pretty bottle in front of us. Mm -hmm. Already. Already. Bully? Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Ready, ready to hit this special guest up. Okay. Speaking of which. Okay. The Remus Repeal Reserve. Pretty bottle. Batch yes, four. Batch four. So, for those that don't know, uh, the George Remus, the, the repeal reserve is, is kind of like in, in lieu of um, when Prohibition was repealed back in, like, the 30s. And so, they made this bottle as kind of like a remembrance of that. It's a limited release. Um, you know, George Remus is a MGP product. Right. right. Uh, so, it's, it's 100 proof. It's a it's a blend of bourbons, so we are looking at um, two thousand eight right, bourbons, the two thousand eight bourbons. Um, yeah, man. So I'm looking forward to it. I know everybody else is looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm so, curious. I'm curious to see. As I yeah. said, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out there. I've tasted batch five that was released last year, last September. Mm -hmm. This is batch four that was released in 2020. I think it's gonna be good. All right. Okay. I'm a Remus fan. I like George, George Remus. Yeah. MGP juice. The regular one is not bad. Mm -hmm. The regular George Remus yeah. is not bad. You can find that pretty much anywhere. Uh, the regular one retails at like 40 bucks, maybe 50 mm -hmm. Um, This bottle here was about $100. This was yeah. in Oof. the 100 Yeah, it was aggressive. <laughs> yeah. So the, so the test is for us to see if this is worth $100. Is yeah. this a $100 bottle? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting like raisins and a little, a little, a little, a little fruit on the on the nose. Right. The first thing I smell is that you don't get an ethanol type of smell. It's real clear. You don't get that burning smell. Mm -hmm. A little smooth. Definitely getting that fruit, that dried fruit. Yeah, dried fruit. Hmm. It's not bad. Not bad on the taste. It's kind of um. No burn. It's kind of basic. It's not really like, don't expect to get the uh, 10 different flavors right. out of this. Like, you're getting your <laughs> your classic, like, cinnamon, vanilla, mm -hmm. caramel, little char oak. Yeah, and, you know what? In, in, in tasting this, it was like 
on my initial sip, it was real, it was real mellow. Mm. But like the aftertaste, kind of, kind of, it, it kind of livened everything up. Like the the aftertaste, that's when I got more of the the floral, the fruit notes. But on the initial, very smooth. It's like it's very, it's very. Let me see. It fools you. Mm-hmm. You don't think you, you think it's going to be real smooth, real quiet, and then on the back end, that's when you get the flavor. Oh, okay. It's definitely got some punch on the end of it. On the end of mm-hmm. it, yeah. yeah. It's your typical Remus, like you said. This Remus repeal is like George Remus's like annual limited edition fancy stuff here. And then, like I said, it's a medley. This particular one, batch four, is a medley of different whiskeys from 2008, different blends. And what's, what's <clears throat> then that was from 2008. Mm-hmm. When I tasted batch five, that was a medley of 2006, 2008. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. I believe 2005. So now, would you, good juice. Good yeah. juice right here. Yeah, this this is cool. It's it's almost like I think, um, I think O had mentioned one other time, like you know, would it be a daily sipper? Yeah, you know, could it be a daily? I sipper? think I think if it wasn't for the price point of one hundred dollars, th- this definitely could be a, a daily sipper. It's real smooth yeah. and it's real light. I get like a um a fall afternoon, fall evening type of uh, atmosphere mm-hmm. when I'm sipping this. Yeah. It's like, a, uh, you know, you go to sleep with the window open, wake up, you know, yeah. clearing your throat, you know. Kind of like how I feel outside right now. Absolutely. Like absolutely. Degrees it's a nice, night. cool fall afternoon. Mm-hmm. It, it's nice. I like it. So let me throw this at y'all. It's just a must-have on your bar. See, the only thing is, this doesn't come with a lot of hype. This is something that you would clearly walk past and say, oh, it's, oh, I could find mm-hmm. something with more uh, notoriety. I think that's the reason why this bourbon is Yeah, popping, I don't think it's a must-have. I don't think it's a must have, but I if mean, the if the price you, point was low, I well, would. yeah, if you can get it, I mean, because it's a limited release. If you yeah. can get it, I mean, it's hard to find. Grab it, yeah, you know. But uh, even at the hundred dollar price point, for me, like, I didn't like it, but yeah. I brought it. Yeah, for me, this one, I for that price point, I wouldn't. But the batch five, I would because that one is way is way different. It tastes much better, in my mm. personal opinion. I think okay. the exclusivity alone might, you know, merit, you know, that that one hundred dollar price point. The fact that you're not going to walk into well, every bar—that's probably why it's a hundred. Yeah, well, you know, mm-hmm. letter grade. What we'll, we we'll doing a letter grade on this one? I like it. I like it. Um, I say B minus. It could get a, a higher B, but you know, like I said, the price point. So uh, for me, it's B minus. I like it, but it's not nothing like. About to make me blow the bells and whistles. <laughs> I'm in agreement with Charlie Bird. <laughs> you shouldn't blow bells and whistles. You so, so Charlie, you said C. Yeah, I'm going straight C. This is so. This is some mid. Like this. Is, <laughs> oh come this, on. This is, this C is, for me as well. Yeah, this is. I think we've had so much better stuff. I yeah. think we yeah. tried a lot better stuff. Yeah, this is this is directly this is, in the middle. Yeah, it's me. it's it's yeah. it's in the middle. Like it's it's good, but it's like it's good, but it's like. Yeah. It's nothing to make me go crazy. Like you're not gonna get a ton of flavor from it. But you will kill going... this bottle. It's so smooth. It's yeah, just yeah. Like... I would drink it. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's better than That's your fair. average whiskey. Yeah, Remus did good on this one, but mm-hmm. I probably wouldn't get this again. Probably okay. Wouldn't. If if that's the if that's the measuring stick for people that are watching. Uh, if we would buy this bottle again, having tasted it, I'm gonna go with no. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Unless they come out with batch six or, or something, one that I haven't tasted. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's now fair. that I know, like it's like four or five different batches, then yeah, I would probably be interested in tasting the other ones if yeah. you could find them. Yeah. If anything, like we talked about earlier, I would, if someone was curious about the Remus products, I would push them towards the straight the George Remus line of whiskey instead of this particular one. Just try the regular $40, $50 bottle. And if you can get your hands on a store pick. Like, I had a store pick. I have two store picks. They're pretty freaking mm-hmm. good. So, mm-hmm. shout out to George Remus. Yeah, shout out to Shout Remus. out to MGP. Great, great. Yeah, MGP, really. Like, right. Yeah. Right. The, they, yeah. they got a lot of people. They got a lot. A this lot podcast is, not, is definitely um, fans of MGP. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, but they got a lot of stuff out there. Yeah. They everywhere. Yeah. So, 
you know, yeah. hey, listen. So if you get a chance to get this bottle, you get a get a chance to see it or get your hands on it, grab it. You don't have Absolutely. to. It's not a must have on your bar, but it's one of the ones where you're not gonna be like sad that you got it. It's cool. Yeah. So with that being said, it's another episode of the Whiskey Taster Podcast. We thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you, thank you. This your man Charlie Bourbon. This your man Justo. And the Forster here. Visible bully. Here we go. Shout out to the guys, no social media cow. NSM. Bougie yo. Bougie yo. And Shout out to back on crack. the camera. <laughs> My guy. And as we always uh-huh. say in Whiskey Tastes fashion, peace, love, and bourbon. Cheers, Cheers good Cheers. people.